Well, tomorrow in the nation's capital, people will gather to bring attention to the plight of those being persecuted around the world for their faith. I've sat in the desert camps of people who have been imprisoned, persecuted, and pushed out of their homes. Their crime, the practice of freedom. March for the Martyrs begins on the National Mall. Attendees will walk to the Museum of the Bible for a prayer service and to listen to speakers, including survivors of Christian persecution. We go now to the founder of the March for the Martyrs, Gia Chacon. Gia, welcome back. Great to see you again. Uh, tell us more about tomorrow's event, how many people you're expecting, and also about some of the speakers. Yes, well, Tracy, we're expecting over a thousand Christians of all denominations and all ages to gather as one voice for the persecuted church on the National Mall. It starts at 3 p.m. We have an incredible lineup of speakers. Ennis Cantor Freedom, the well-known NBA star and human rights activist, is joining us, as well as Pastor Andrew Brunson, who is a survivor and uh, of a political prisoner in Turkey. He'll be sharing his powerful testimony with us, as well as Father Simon Asaki and Esther Jung, who is a survivor of persecution in China. That's just a few of our amazing speakers that we have planned for tomorrow. Yeah, it sounds like it's going to be an amazing event. Um, for those who aren't that familiar with it, talk to us about why you decided to start this initiative. Absolutely, Tracy. Well, Christians are the most persecuted religious group. And I think when American Christians hear that, we're shocked. We're, we don't realize what's happening around the world to our brothers and sisters. But the reality is that over 360 million Christians around the world face high levels of persecution. Open Doors releases their world watch list every year. And uh, we see that consistently for five years, Christian persecution has continued to increase. Yet, despite this increase, despite Christians being the most persecuted religious group, we hear almost nothing about it in the mainstream media or in our communities of faith. So March for the Martyrs is on a mission to raise awareness about the crisis of Christian persecution and unify the body of Christ around this issue. And Gia, let's talk about some of the places in the world where Christians are really persecuted the most. In Nigeria right now, we are seeing a Christian genocide. I'm sure uh, we've maybe a few of our viewers have read the recent headline of the massacre that happened just in June when a gunman entered a Sunday mass and massacred hundreds of Christians. But the reality is, is that thousands of Christians are being targeted and slaughtered in Nigeria alone. But it's not just in Nigeria. In the Middle East, there's an ongoing Christian genocide. In China, even though there are over 100 million Christians, we're seeing some of the most restrictive uh, targeting and oppression of Christians. And of course, in North Korea, it's illegal to be a Christian in that country. Um, and the situation, even though the world is progressing, so to speak, the, re the reality is that religious oppression is increasing and Christians are the most targeted. And Gia, we're almost out of time, but quickly, uh, what's your hope for tomorrow's event? And if people would like more information about it, where can they go to get it? My hope with tomorrow's event that uh, as Christians unify as one voice for the persecuted, that this issue will be brought to the forefront of the fight for human rights. Christian persecution is a human rights crisis, and it deserves the same level of urgency as any other crisis. And if anyone would like to join us in prayer or in person on the National Mall, you can find out more about the March for the Martyrs by visiting forthemartyrs.com forward slash march. Andrea, thank you so much for your time today. Good luck tomorrow. We're praying for you all.